Don't you just love the smell of gun oil? Hope you kick some ass. Wise choice, sir. Wise choice. Best not to mention where you got that, okay? Take it, hold it, love it. See you again soon. Trick to catch and squirrel sneak up when it's dark. Ashback, go to hysterics and science class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? That's all today on I Say, You Say. We share last names, but that's about it. I'm Peyton, that's my wife Mary, and this is I Say, You Say, where left is right, and right is wrong. Or ah, for East meets West, and the West always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, a case of share and share alike? Love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the collective hydroponic farm growing potatoes? Or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor? It's my wonderful wife. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny. Nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I, I mean, how is that fair? I, I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite, uh, you know, whatever that means. But people just respond badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> yeah. I hope not. And you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair... Offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. When? Good point, Holly. Gotcha. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew tobacco. It relaxed them between stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes. Smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> he lived until he was 30. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your... Ah! Ah! Hello? 
as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary uh, Why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses, and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. Oh! I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history or cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young, very foolish. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cess.